law restricting the sale of a common over-the-counter cough medication to minors will go into effect in the fall. Pharmacist Doug is here to kind of bring us up to speed, and it is a long way out, but I think this is going to be sort of a, 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 a shock to people when they have to get ID'd. Yeah, it's not going to take place um, till September. You know, but I did want to just, you know, we'll probably maybe remind them of that, mm -hmm. you know, because they're going to start having to show their ID and be a little cumbersome at the first. Okay, so which drug are we talking about? It's dextromethorphan, and you see it most often on packages as DM. Okay, what does it do, real quick? Right. So d it's a cough suppressant. Okay. And um, it's very, it's a great cough suppressant, you know, low doses, very functional. Great. But it has some side effects, or what? Well, I mean, in this form, it does not really. Uh -huh. Bottom line, like people with high blood pressure can use it, but unfortunately, and I, I put on, you know, I talked to you, I put on here, teens are abusing mm -hmm. it, but I guess there are adults abusing sure. it, and they're taking a big, 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 big overdose and getting a euphoria, just getting high off of it. And so that's, that's the reason they're restricting it. Okay. Many well, other states have done it, and so Texas is kind of late to the game. But it, and it, if you, d but the, it only has that effect on you if you're taking like massive quantities, right? Yes. And if you research, like I don't want to scare anyone. If you research dextromethorphan, part of its chemical is related to morphine. Mm -hmm. But if you know this is not going to get you addicted, you know it's a very low dose. It's this rotation, you know, m chemically a rotation that's safe, and so. But in high, high doses, it's going to act like that. And it's a really helpful drug yeah. to have, right, when you have a cough, I think. Yes, it's great. So it's helpful. Almost one, I mean, like, antihistamines can also suppress a cough, but they make you drowsy. This doesn't. So it's very, very yeah. useful. Okay. Very useful. So when people go to purchase it now, what are they going to experience? What sort of? It's really easy. It, people will just be asked for their driver's license, you know, just to make sure they're 18 years or older. So it's an age restriction. Are there other, there are other things that you have to do this with, what, like, right, because of? Right, so Sudafed has Sudafed. A, a national registry, mm -hmm. and so it won't be like that, because on that registry, if you were to come in and buy that, your information is put into a bank, and if you were to go to try buy it in Oklahoma uh -huh. or Colorado, it would bring you up to show that you've already bought some, and you're limited to how many of that. So that's a registry. This is just to verify age. Interesting. Okay. So if you have any other questions, though, people can always reach out oh, to yeah. their pharmacist yeah. or to you or anything. Yeah, like and you that. won't have to buy it at the pharmacy either. Like the cashiers at other you'll just points will be. Able yeah. To you'll just check. They'll check ID when you check out, just like when you buy beer or wine. Yeah. Exactly yeah. like that. Okay. Very good, Doug. Thank yeah, you. Very welcome. important information. Stick around. We'll be right back. Yeah.